Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Herculean Homeschooling. I'm Sarah, homeschool mama of six. And for those of you who may be new to my channel, uh, we choose to use Bookshark as our core curriculum for our whole family. And so I like to post uh, different videos showing the different levels that Bookshark offers. I know when I was first deciding which curriculum to use, it was really helpful to get to go to a homeschool convention and get to actually flip through everything. I know that that's not feasible for everybody to get to go to a convention. Um, so I do like to be able to let y'all see the different book levels and I'll flip through some pages for you so that you can kind of see reading levels and language arts and things like that. Uh, so that will help you make an informed decision for what level to get for your kids. I do like as a disclaimer to let everyone know that I am a Bookshark convention rep. Uh, so you'll see me around at some different conventions. However, this is not a sponsored video. I did not get anything from Bookshark for doing these videos. This is just for y'all. So if y'all didn't know, the Bookshark levels are not grade levels. Um, so I'm going to show you today level two intermediate. Level two is for ages seven to nine. So just depending on your child, if they're in that age range, level two is really interesting because it has level two on level, level two intermediate, and level two advanced. I will link the video down below for level two advanced. But for today's video, let's take a look at Bookshark level two intermediate for language arts and readers. So level two intermediate looks like this for your instructor's guide. This is my favorite thing ever, y'all, because it makes my job so much easier. With six kids, I do not have time to be scheduling out everybody's stuff for every single subject. So that's one of the biggest draws that I had for Bookshark um, because of this instructor's guide. So you'll notice that this background is yellow. I'll show you why I think that that's important here with my books. And then for two intermediate, it's two in. I have no idea why they don't just put two I for intermediate. It's N. I don't know what that's about, but whatever. So we have this big binder that has all the week tabs here in it. So that way you can divide out your weekly um, assignments and schedule. So this is your four day a week, three day weekend. What, what? Uh, every week. So I love, love, love that. This is your four day a week schedule. Again, it is all done for you. Some of this is optional add on. Uh, they do include spelling words and some different things to do for spelling and uh, different activities. Again, it'll tell you optional if you have that. Um, we always do the optional add-ons. It's great help with phonics and grammar and just additional review that I feel like my kids need. So we always do that, especially because it's already scheduled for me. It's not extra work for me, y'all, which I'm all about. Uh, handwriting, Bookshark does offer handwriting without tiers packages, so you could do print or cursive, um, and that will be a question that it'll just ask you when you go to order if you want to add that or not. And then it'll tell you your readers and then your language arts work. And then it breaks it down even more for you. So it'll go down day by day, tells you exactly what to say, how to do the activities, gives you those answers for the optional books and all the other books, gives you the questions that you could be asking because the readers are the books that they read and then the read alouds are what you read. And so these readers, I don't have time to read all my kids' readers. And I know that they're gonna be great books, but I don't know what questions to ask them because I didn't read them. Uh, so I love that Bookshark gives us questions to be asking our kids for their readers that they are reading that I didn't get to read. So that is going to be all of your week and then it gives you, you know, your, um, your rubric here for their writing portion so that it really breaks it down for you. And then after you turn this page, there's typically an activity sheet back there and it's just one activity sheet per week. So I'll show you what I do with those activity sheets. Okay, so this is what I do for our activity sheets. I actually take them out from that instructor's guide and I bind them myself. Uh, and then that way it makes like a language arts workbook type thing here for them. It's still only just the one sheet per week here, but I just put them all in one place. And then that way my kids know I can tell them to get their language arts workbook and they know exactly what I'm talking about. And we have all 36 weeks here in one spot. So go ahead and take a close look at some of these language arts activities. I know a lot of people, they want to base it uh, which level they get for their kid just off their reading level and that's actually not the best thing you can do I would highly highly recommend going off of their language arts level 
Uh, let me show y'all the scope and sequence that is in the back of the instructor's guide. Okay, so I mentioned getting the level based off of your kiddo's language arts level instead of their reading level, and this is why. Their language arts lessons are being taught based off of their readers, and so that's super helpful for them to really be able to have the concepts uh, explain in a way that they can understand it because they're seeing it right away. And so you're going here, you're going to start, you know, with consonants and alphabetize, great. And then you're going to go and, um, you know, just go through the, some long and short sounds, which, you know, maybe your seven-year-old is good for. Um, but then you're going to jump over here and start doing contractions and digraphs and some getting a little bit um, harder as we go along here and so some you know six-year-olds that could read at a higher reading level might not be ready for this or some seven-year-olds or some eight-year-olds you know just depending on where your kid is it might be a good idea to take the year and help their language arts catch up to their reading level so that may mean starting with the level two on level or it may even mean starting at level one or level k and just going there and building up that language arts and then eventually their language arts will match their reading level and then you'll be set for when you're going to put that all together. You can find the scope and sequence for all the levels on the Bookshark website. I will post that down in the description box, a uh, link directly there. And so that way you can go through and check out the scope and sequence for the different levels and see what would be a good fit for your kids. Level two intermediate, there are 16 readers. These are all of those readers right here. There's a book list on the website, so I'm not showing y'all anything that the company wouldn't just show you. Uh, so you can definitely go check that out on the website. These over here, these little stickers, they do not come on your book, okay? This is something that I did. This is just like washi tape, and then I took a permanent marker and wrote I on there for intermediate because we have the level two on level and the level two advanced, and so my on levels, I just leave blank. My intermediates, I have the I, and then the advanced, I put a little A. That way on my bookshelf, they're all labeled, and I know exactly which books go with which one, but just know that when you get yours from Bookshark, uh, you will not be getting any washi tape. You'll not get anything like that, uh, but you can get that from Hobby Lobby or Walmart. And then the reason I did the yellow was because that the instructor's guide had the yellow background. So that way my instructor's guide is now matching the labels that I have on all of my books. So I do that with all of our bookshelf book. I do that with all of our Bookshark books and it just makes it so much easier and it looks really cool on our shelf. So I really like that. So um, I'm going to give you a little peek inside each of these books so you can see the actual reading level that they are. So The Secret Valley is the very first book that they'll be reading. Again, that's online. You can get the first three weeks a sample of the instructor's guide. So that way you can like ch check out this book from the library and you can try out Bookshark for three weeks and see if it's a good fit for your family. Uh, so again, I'm not showing you guys anything that's copyrighted information or anything here, but this is the beginning reading level that they will need to be able to read this book on their own uh, for the very first week in the level two intermediate. The rest of these books aren't in any particular order. I'm just going to show you what they look like so you can see the font size, that they have short chapters and pictures.
So that was just a peek inside of all of those readers for the level two intermediate level. Um, I hope this video has been helpful for y'all. Again, if there's a different level that you would like to see that I haven't done a video of yet, please comment down below with what level you'd be interested in getting a flip through to know the different reading levels and language arts levels and where your kid might fit. If you have any questions about Bookshark, I'm happy to talk to you about those. So go ahead and leave a comment below for me as well down there about that. And I do have videos for level one, two, intermediate, two advanced, level three, and level four already posted. So I will list all of those down below. So be sure to click those. I will go ahead and post level two advanced right here. You can just click right there. But before you do that, be sure to click right here and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of the other levels and how we use Bookshark in our family. Until next time.